Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the saga that is Naman Kapoor taking programming language assessments in languages he should know, but failing miserably. Today's victim is Java, the first language I ever learned in AP Computer Science during my sophomore year in high school. The agenda is the same. We'll do some practice quizzes in Java and then end with the LinkedIn skills assessment, which promises me absolute glory, unlimited recruitment potential, and the most money in the world. For those who don't know, I have not written Java in years. All right, number of primitive data types in Java. Six, seven, eight, nine. I would have said like three or four. Okay, let's count them. We got integer, obviously. We got string, float, double, four. Boolean, yes, true, false. Okay, if I can't think of any more, it can't be nine, probably not eight. It's either six or seven. I don't know, lucky number seven. So let's go with seven. Let's see. Eight. Wait, that's so much. What is the size of float and double? Oh wait, no, there is an option where they're both the same. I feel like they're the same. All right, this is not looking good. I was hoping I would do better than the Python quiz, but at this rate, I might just get everything wrong. Automatic type conversion is possible in which of the possible cases? Automatic type conversion. Okay, so I know you can go from bigger to smaller, right? You can't go from like integer precision to float precision. You can go int to long. That sounds reasonable because you just add dot zero, right? You just add more precision. Let's go, baby. All right, this is better than Python, you know? Out of the first three questions, I got one right, which is crazy because I use Python way more often than I use Java, but it's all about that critical thinking, you know? Critical thinking, yeah. Find the output of the following code. That's so, why would they do it? It's so confusing. Char, string, like you're trying to make me mess up. Python is so nice because you can just throw anything in the print function and it'll print it. But in Java, do you have to cast it as a string? I feel like Java is smart. I think it can do it. 24i, please. Let's go, baby! <sighs> Dude, I'm, I'm hyped up. Like, I'm, I'm doing okay, actually. Let's go. Find the output of the following program. So, it should be... Okay, numb it. You need to think. Like, every time I'm so confident, I mess up. Okay, find the output of the following program. Public static void main. Okay, but, oh, God, what? All these quizzes are not even like Java. They're just like weird bytes. Like when have I ever used a byte? Okay, what is 129 base two? I don't have a pen and paper, but we can do, okay, so two to the zero is one times nine is no. Okay, I, uh, 129. Where did the negative come from? Range of byte data is negative 120 to 127. Select a valid statement. Oh no, instantiation. I don't think char is a function. You, you, char is not a constructor. I don't think you can do this one or this one. New char with five. I think you can do this, right? Make a char with length five. Int x is a list with three elements. Okay. For i is zero, less than x to length. Okay, so basically iterate through every single thing. Print out x at that plus this. So you should print out 120, then 200, then 16. I'm gonna call this one the Kobe. That's correct. When an array is passed to a method, what does the method receive? Java, do you pass by reference? So if I have some array and I pass it through, does it mutate that one? It doesn't. I think it mutates a copy. I think it's a copy. Select a valid statement to declare and initialize an array. It's gotta be this guy. I'm gonna go fast. Okay, let's go. Let's go, baby, come on. We're on a streak. We're on a hot streak. Find the value of A1 after execution of the following program. Come on. Okay, we got this. All right, nice. So A at zero, we just said was one. So it's gonna be one. Come on, no one. Let's go, baby. Let's go, streak. Arrays in Java's are, if when you pass it to a function, it passes the reference, then arrays must be references. Okay, it's an object, good to know. When is the object created with new keyword? And like the compiler is smart enough, then it's, I think it's gonna be a runtime. I don't know though. I knew, I knew actually, sorry. I was just, I was being humble. Okay, cool. Identify the corrected, Definition of a package. I think it's it can be classes and interfaces. It's cool, baby. Identify the correct restriction on static methods. Oh god. I'm just Oh no, wait. Oh I said I said the right thing. I picked the wrong thing. I said that yeah, they cannot refer to this or super. Identify the keyword among the following that makes a variable belong to a class rather than being defined for each instance of the class. No, I think it's static. Static, 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 static. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, identify what can directly access and change the value of the variable. Oh, but hey, maybe, I don't think it's multi-select, so we're just gonna go with this one. 
a, yeah, I'm kind of beating the test in which of these is a two string. It's an object, yes. Compared to returns, if both are there, then it must be an int value. Okay, yes, I knew that too, because then you can compare it with greater than equal to like all the mathematical operations. Identify the output of this, substring one to three. All right, this is gonna be inclusive, this is gonna be exclusive. So zero, one is B, so BC. Okay, we actually on a streak now, yo. Ooh, identify the output of the following program. There is no T, it's gonna be negative one. Six, we're on a six streak. Identify the output of the following program. String one dot concat, string one, so it's gonna be one, two. Come on, easy. Let's go, baby. That's seven, streak of seven. What does the following string do to given string S true one? Dot replace E with S. Okay, so all the E's are gonna be replaced with S's. Eight. Let's get this to 10, baby, streak of 10. To which of the following does the class string belong to? Java dot lang. One more. How many objects will be created? So two. Come on, please, for the 10, for the 10, for the 10. Oh. Total constructor string class have. I have, I have no idea what this question is asking me. A three. Okay, string class has 13 constructors. How many are left, holy. Okay, you know, I don't know if we're gonna do multiple. I think this is gonna be the practice. Then we go straight to the LinkedIn one. Let's talk about Wealthfront. You may have heard of them from their automated investing service, but what I wanna focus on today is their cash account, a way for you to grow your earnings and maximize your savings. By placing your money in a Wealthfront cash account, you'd be earning a whopping 2% APY on your savings versus the national average of 0.10% people get with traditional banks. So rather than making $10 in a $10,000 account in your bank account, you'd be on pace to earn $200 a year with a Wealthfront cash account. Plus you get all the sweet protections of the federal government by being FDIC insured through partner banks up to $1 million. And you get the benefits of a tech company. So a beautiful UI, no account fees, overdraft fees, or hidden fees. And if you decide to use the robo investment service, everything is nicely integrated. Check out wealthfront.com slash numman to open a cash account and maximize your savings today. Plus plus A equals 10. I don't think you can do this. Yeah, this is wrong. Nice. Find the output of the following code. Oh, can you do that though? I think you need parentheses. I don't think you can do that. No, that's a compile error, baby. That's a no-no. Oh, oh, this is multiply. So five times 10 is 50. Identify the return type of a method that does not return any value. Void. I don't know why I thought so long. Let's go, baby. Output of math.floor. That's gonna go down three. Come on, let's go fast, fast. Let's. Oh, that was. Where does the system store parameters and local variables whenever a method is invoked? Recursion has a stack. Does Java have a stack or a heap? I've heard Java heap before. I think it's heap. Identify the modifier which cannot be used for a constructor. I'm just gonna say they can't be static. What is the variable declared in a class for the use of all methods of the class instance? What is the implicit return type of a constructor? It has no return type. Wait, what? Public. What is the finalized method called? I have no idea. We're just gonna say before garbage collection because I know Java's big thing is the Java garbage collector. Hey. Okay, identify the prototype of the default constructor. Nice. Identify the correct way of declaring a constructor. Why would they, I haven't seen an A and B before. I, it's probably, okay. Find the output. Because continue doesn't break the loop. So I don't even know, this is, I think this is just to throw us off. It's gonna go to six. Identify the infinite loop. Oh, psh, all of them, come on baby, easy. Exception created by try block is caught in which block? Which of the following is thrown when divided by zero? I'm just gonna go with arithmetic. Where is system class defined? Of IO. Lang. Okay, I have no idea. What are the following used to find and fix bugs in the program? J <laughs> JDB? I don't even know what that is. Identify the incorrect Java feature. No pointers. That's C. What does this do? Okay, this is... I have no idea. Which of the following statements are true about finalized? If something's finally done, it can only be... That's, that's the final one. So it can't be many times. So it's probably zero or one. Look at that. I just, I know English. <laughs> I don't know Java. Identify the interface which is used to declare core methods in Java. I think it's collection. Okay, I was like hypnotized going down there. What's 18 by 50? Let's see if we can do that in our head. Did I get a 45%? I'm just telling the world how bad I am. Yep. all right, same thing. 15 multiple choice, 1.5 minutes per question. 
Let me see if I if I should be confident or if I get sad again. Static. Okay, okay, okay. What method will work with this code? Yo, do you think they purposely make this easy to make you feel confident? Look, two out of two? <laughs> I don't think I've done that well in any of the previous quizzes. Okay, this code does not compile. What needs to be changed so that it does? All enums, we don't need to, okay. Add a constructor that accepts a string parameter. Cause how are you gonna set these? Oh, I guess they're set already. All right, we're gonna go with this. What is the output? Oh my God, this looks horrendous. New string, ABC, list one, arrays as list array. Okay. Oh my goodness. False, false. I, that just sounds wrong. What is the correct return type for the process function method? So lambda is a function that takes an integer and string, which means it returns a string. What variable type should be declared for capitalized? No, I think it's function because map takes in a lambda. I have no idea how many, qu oh my goodness. Which language feature assures that objects implementing the auto closable interface are closed when it completes? Let's try class finally, dude. I don't know. Which function could you use to replace slashes for dashes? Why were the practice questions 800 times easier than this? We're gonna say consumer, oh my goodness. Like what's the point of even continuing? Can I give up? Why is there not a give up button? Is this an example of method overloading or overwriting? I think it's gonna be overloading. Please, 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 please. You have an instance of type map string integer named instruments containing the following key value pairs, guitar, cello, drum. If you add the new key value pair, cello 4500 to the map using the put method, how many elements do you have in the map when you call instruments.size? Then you can put, so then you have one, two, three, four. Which access modifier makes variables and methods visible only in the class where they're declared? I'm gonna say protected. That sounds stronger. Which expression is a functional equivalent? List of one, two, three, four. Okay, total is zero. For integer x in that. So I feel like map to int is not a thing that exists. So I'm gonna say it's this guy. The compiler is complaining about the assignment of the variable pickle to the variable jar. How would you fix this? Is it two int or is it parse int? I think it's parse int. I think it's this guy. Which characteristic does not apply to all instances of Java util hash set? Hash set does not contain sorted elements. Easy. Which package is found within Java standard edition? I have no idea. But yeah, I wanna say Java util and Java lang, so it's probably all of these. What language construct serves as a blueprint containing objects, properties, and functionality? The object's blueprint is a class. It tells you what's in it, what methods are allowed, what you can do, what you can't do. Last question, for the love of God. How do you convert this method into a Lambda expression? We're gonna get this one, come on, baby. Okay, this is wrong, because you need that X inside. So it's either this, this, or this. I guess if it matters so much, then maybe end. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna go cry now. That's all I have. Till next time, cheers.